Hi, this is Ted with Draft Hero, and today I'm going to walk you through syncing the Draft Hero with a Yahoo Fantasy Football League and Draft. All of the Draft Hero sync features use the browser extension that works on Chrome and Edge browsers on PC and Macs. Mobile devices don't allow extensions, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and add that. That'll enable all the sync features for us. Open the Yahoo Fantasy Football League. Try and open it in the, the league homepage usually works the best. Uh, go back into Draft Hero, select the Yahoo, to walk through the steps to sync. It'll open up the necessary settings pages. Select our team from the drop down menu, and it looks like it's imported all the roster settings, scoring rules, teams, etc. Just go ahead and confirm that all of that is accurate. And then when you are ready to draft, you can do a mock draft, manual draft, sync draft. Let's just go back in, and, and usually the draft order sometimes changes a lot before uh, your actual draft starts, so we're going to quickly check that, but uh, we'll open up the draft app, go back into Yahoo draft client, and yeah, the, the draft order um, has changed since we imported, so we're going to go back into the settings page for that league, and just quickly click sync draft order. And boom, it's got the updated draft order. So make sure you do that before you enter the draft room. Um, a lot of people import your league, and then a couple weeks later, you have your draft. So the Yahoo Draft client. Uh, well, here, let, let's just. Uh, all right, so yeah, so so the Yahoo Draft room. If the sync is working, you'll see a Draft Hero sync feature or sync uh, uh, up in the up top right hand corner. When you first open it, it'll say first pink synced successfully. Um, and then the, uh, uh, the chat shows updates uh, for all the draft picks. And for whatever reason, the Yahoo Draft client shows last year's draft picks and my test draft picks and stuff. So it's kind of messy in there, but we've updated the sync feature to address that. Uh, mock leagues and public leagues don't have the chat features allowed, so that's not an issue there. But uh, anyways, Go back into the Draft Hero, start the Draft Sync, and you'll see that Justin Jefferson is automatically synced. Christian McCaffrey. And then when we're on the clock, we go back into Draft Hero. It'll tell us who the optimal pick is, but we can go check out the draft plan, look at all the player rankings, ADP, make our selection up. We, we got a 15 second time clock on this demo here. So we got timed out, but it looked like I picked Eckler for us anyways. Take Cooper Cup. And everything is synced over back in the Draft Hero. So make sure you make all of your picks in the Yahoo Draft Client, not in Draft Hero. Everything will be synced over. You certainly can make the draft pick in Draft Hero, but sometimes things get a little confusing. So we tell people just to make let, let all, the, all the picks be synced over. And you'll see on the far right here, the updates uh, in the chat room is where they show all the updated draft picks, also in the draft results. Um, if you ever get in trouble, refresh the page and it'll automatically display the draft results and sync draft picks one through whatever on the clock from there and then pick up any updates from the chat room on the right uh, in the all and updates features. If you just click the chat in the chat room, hides all of the draft pick updates. So you'll get a notification saying uh, uh, to show the all or the updates tab to continue with the draft sync. And if you ever have to refresh the draft hero page, that's totally fine. Just go ahead and start the draft sync over again and you'll continue to draft sync. So everything seems to be running pretty smoothly. Give yourself a couple of seconds to find that player in the Yahoo draft room. This is a fast clock with only 15 seconds, but um, normally it just takes you a couple seconds. Most of the players are top 10 in the Yahoo draft room. Their rankings are good-ish, not great. I think they do that to, to keep some skill in the game so everybody's not looking at um, the latest, greatest player rankings. You have to use a little skill to know who to draft. We'll uh, put this into ludicrous speed. Uh, 
showing that the draft sync is pretty instantaneous. Basically every second or so it pings uh, back and forth to see if there's any updated draft picks made and then it updates Draft Hero and all the analytics. Uh, when you're in Draft Hero, they've got a lot of great features, especially the draft plan is new this year, which I love. You can go and you can target different players, different positions for each of the rounds. You can see exactly when players are drafted uh, based on their ADP. In this case, by default, it's Yahoo ADP. Um, so it really gives you a good view of uh, the future draft and where players are going and where the draft value is. We'll have another video on the draft plan in detail uh, later this week. Then after our draft is over, we go back into Draft Hero. We can view the Rate My Draft app, which is a pretty cool tool. Ranks all the team rankings based on projected stats for the season, projected fantasy points. Uh, shows you your roster strengths and weaknesses. It gives draft pick ratings for every player you picked, as well as overall player rankings for each of your positions compared to other people in that same draft. So hopefully that's helpful. Best of luck.